Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this super quick and easy five minute makeup tutorial that I like to do on days that I'm in a rush and I just want to look well put together. So I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and let's go ahead and jump into it. I usually reach for a BB cream, CC cream, something that already has SPF in it so I don't have to sit there and wait for it to sink in. I normally use the It Cosmetics CC cream. This is what it looks like. I'm in the shade medium, but I recently discovered this one by Vincent Longo. The reason that I like this one is because it comes with a concealer which the concealer is really, really good, you guys. Like I was very impressed. I usually have to go in with a neutralizer for my redness and this concealer gets rid of all the redness. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that. This one has SPF 20, which is good. I definitely wanna use something with SPF if I don't put on SPF to begin with. And I just apply that all over my face. If you have dry skin, you'll really enjoy something like this because it's very hydrating. So if you use it on top of a moisturizer, you get that extra added benefit. Next, I'm gonna go into the concealer and just take a little bit. A little bit goes such a long way. I use it around my nose area. You can tell, like it just takes away all of the redness. Like this concealer is heavy duty. And I really didn't expect it to be because the formula of the, the BB cream, is it a BB cream? It's a tinted moisturizer. <laughs> so the formula of the tinted moisturizer is really, really light. So I really didn't think that the concealer was gonna be as heavy duty as it is, but I mean, look at that. And I'm just taking a little bit under my eyes. I don't really have like dark circles, um, but I really like this whole area to be really bright, even on minimal days. And I just go in and use a bronzer. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan Bronzer, which I really love, especially when we're getting into the springtime. It just looks really good. And I like to bronze up my face before I add any type of powder, just so it really melts in with that BB cream. I know this might drive you guys nuts, so I went and put my hair up. I finished bronzing my face. I just bring it up into my forehead, so my chin area. So I like to take just a little bit of my contour stick, my pure one, and just take a little bit on my finger. I do like to add just a little bit of definition to my nose so it doesn't look so like blended into the rest of my skin. So that's it. I don't even bother contouring my entire face, just a little bit to my nose. I'm gonna use my diffused ambient light powder, which is like this really pretty yellowish tinted powder from Hourglass. And I just, I love this powder. It's very subtle and it still gives you that highlighted effect without looking like you have really heavy powder. It's so, so finely milled. And I just tap that underneath my eyes. So this is gonna prevent any concealer from creasing and it's also gonna just really brighten up that area. And then I'm gonna take this along my nose and on the other eye. And I just take it kind of like around my nose area and my chin. And I'm gonna go into my Holy Grail Dim Light by Hourglass. I've talked about this powder so many times. I love using this powder to set the rest of my makeup. I wouldn't even call it setting because it's not preventing your foundation from moving. It kind of like gives you a soft focus effect. Again, without that powdery feel. So I just kind of like swish my blush brush in there and then I apply that powder everywhere else that I didn't apply the diffuse light. So kind of like starting on top of my bronzer and then I just bring it on my forehead. Then I'll just add a little bit of blush. This one is in the number 425 by Makeup Forever HD. I love these cream blushes. And my favorite way of applying them is either with a beauty blender or I also like this Tom Ford blush brush because um, it doesn't pick up so much product. And I just kind of dab it. Just gonna apply that very, very lightly on the apples of my cheek. And that one swipe is enough to pick up for both sides, so. For my eyebrows, when I'm in a hurry, I just usually go for a brow gel. This one is by Ico. Unless I like over plucked or over tweezed, I, I really don't need to fill in any sparseness. I feel like this does a really good job of filling in sparseness, sp bleh, filling in sparseness and then also 
um, making sure that they don't move. And I'll usually just skip shadows on light days like this, but what I will do is I'll take a little bit of that diffuse light and apply that to my lids. So I remember I told you guys a while back that I couldn't go without wearing eyeliner because I just look really tired and I find that tight lining and then curling my uh, lashes just it takes away all of that tiredness. So I'll just go in with a pencil. This one is by Marc Jacobs. It's just a little baby size um, pencil and I like it because it's really creamy and it's not gonna tug at my eyelashes. And then if I ever get any of that liner on my lash by accident, I'll just take my finger and just smudge it out because I really don't want to line my eyes, but it's okay if I get some of it on my lid because it'll just kind of look a little bit smoky. Then I'll take my eyelash curler and I'll start by curling the outside I've seen girls curl their lashes all the time and honestly I just didn't think it was for me because my eyelashes don't go straight out like they do have a natural curl in them but let me tell you even if you have a natural curl curling them before mascara it just makes them like stick straight up and they're beautiful so this is the one that I curled and this is the one that I didn't and you can just tell it just sticks straight up and it just opens up your eyes and then I'll just go in with the mascara. I've been really liking this mascara on days that I'm just doing like a really light makeup. It's not too thick. Like when it comes out, it just comes out the perfect amount. I like a lot of mascara, so I do like two coats, but definitely feel free to stop after one light coat. Um, I just really like how it makes my eyes like the focal point when I put a lot of mascara. If you ever get it all over your lid, kind of like I did, don't try to wipe it off right away. Wait for it to dry and then go in with a clean spoolie and then just lightly dust it off and it's gonna flake right off. For my lips, I'll go in with a neutral lip liner. This one is called Strip Down by MAC and I'll just line my lips, fill it in, and then I'll go in with something a little more sheer. This is the YSL Rouge Velop Shine in number nine and I really like it. And I'll just put that on top. If I'm feeling extra that day, then I'll go in with a highlight powder. And one of the ones that I've been loving for a really, really subtle glow is Euphoric Strobe Light by Hourglass. So I'll just take that on a fan brush and just kind of like put it right there. So this is the finished look, you guys. It's super simple, and I know it probably seems like it took longer than five minutes, but remember I was explaining and talking to you guys. I could probably do all this in 10 minutes, including getting dressed. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. I hope you learned some tips and tricks. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.